You may be asking yourself, why do I need a development plan? And even more importantly, how do I create one? Well, this video will answer both of those questions and more. Stay tuned. For many nonprofit leaders, planning has always been perceived to be a necessary evil. Not something we like to do, but something we have to do. Planning is important for a number of reasons, and developing a fundraising plan is especially helpful as you hope to become more sophisticated in your efforts to become fully funded. Hi, I'm Jim Dempsey, and this channel is designed to help nonprofit leaders raise more money for their organization. Fundraising planning is important for a number of reasons. First, it increases the possibility that your organization will achieve its goals. Second, a written plan opens your ideas to those who can help you own the plan. It provides buy-in and provides improvement in order to better the plan. Number three, a plan improves overall communication within the organization and helps ensure execution of the past steps and the goals set out by leadership. Fourth, it helps create a plumb line by which all ideas, strategies, and plans are measured, which especially helps in times of crisis. Fifth, it takes you from a haphazard approach of fundraising to a very defined strategy for raising money. Oftentimes it moves you from a shotgun approach to a rifle approach or laser beam, which helps you become more successful and more cost effective. Planning is an essential management function. It helps facilitate leading, organizing, controlling, and strategy. There are specific objectives to the planning process. They are as follows. Planning helps increase your understanding of the marketplace. Our world is changing so quickly and we as a nonprofit can't be left behind. In 1945, all human knowledge was doubling every 25 years. Today, that time has been reduced to every 12 hours. That's astonishing. We need to shift and adapt to those changes. We must understand our audience and marketplace, and we must also ensure that our strategy fits the realities of the marketplace. Are we providing a product that fits with the needs of today and responds to this ever-changing environment? A plan provides your organization with the ability to perform during external or internal crisis and the ability to adapt to quick changes. This past year was a great example. The organizations that pivoted, adapted, and accommodated thrived. Those that were not able to adapt did not thrive and some did not even survive. Why do most organizations fail to plan? Nonprofit leaders see planning as a futile exercise with little benefits attached. They see it as too time consuming and with too much complexity to accomplish. They lack the knowledge to plan and if they do, they lack the resources to implement the plan. There are aspects in organization changes or marketplace changes that discourages the planning process as well. Every good fundraising plan should begin with an understanding of this key principle. The degree to which your organization can be adequately funded depends on how closely aligned it is to the values, wants, and needs of current or potential supporters. Let me repeat that. The degree to which your organization can be adequately funded depends on how closely aligned it is to the values, wants, and needs of current and potential supporters. That's groundbreaking. Our plan should identify the values, wants, and needs of our current and potential donors. We need to design our marketing and fundraising strategy to satisfy those needs of those current potential partners. Step number one, begin with an environmental analysis. Internally, what are your organizational goals? What are your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, problems, threats? Externally, who are our current and potential donors? Other organizations we partner with, communications channels, what do we use to communicate? Step number two, determine our overall objective for our fundraising plan. Our objective should be to develop specific action plans, including the assignment of responsibility for tasks and the allocation of financial resources, equipment, office space, and other 
organizational strategies to accomplish our organizational goals. The plan does not have to be too complicated. It should be simple enough for every employee and volunteer of your organization to embrace and enact. Remember, every person involved in your organization is a representative for your organization. Thus, each one is involved in your development efforts, public relations, recruitment, and fundraising. Each area of focus should include critical success factors and past steps to accomplish the goals. It's important to identify who will lead out in what areas or strategies. The win, keep, and lift strategy of fundraising and development should be employed and should be used as your plumb line. I've included that above a link to the win, keep, and lift strategy so you understand that more fully. Step number three. Identify key income strategies. Every good fundraising plan should include past steps and goals of accomplishing those categories. These following categories are important. Donor acquisition, new donor conversion, mass donors, key or mid-level donors, major donors, mega donors, foundation giving, planned giving, estate design. All these areas are critical income thrusts and income sources to any organization. There are other strategies that overlap with these and you should refer to these as cross-penetration strategies. They are events such as dinners or banquets, memorials, and publications. It's very important to include strategies for public relations and recruitment as well as fundraising. Ensure that you don't forget to incorporate goals and past steps for support functions such as donor software, equipment, and data analysis. And lastly, make sure you include a budget for each of these items. Too often, income goals are listed, but the amount of money necessary to fuel those strategies is left off. Developing a fundraising plan is essential for the success, success of any nonprofit organization. Too many organizations barely get by simply doing haphazard activities, hoping for positive results. For your organization to achieve the goal of becoming fully funded, a plan must be created and implemented and followed to the letter of the law. Achieving your mission is dependent on achieving the goals established in your plan. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to this channel. If you're having fundraising questions, submit them at Twitter at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java or email me at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. And as always, I wish you the best as you strive to increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thank you.